Notice the blue diamond indicates that I'm still on a legit trail. I'm not lost. This time of year, it would be kind of hard to get lost because, you know, either you're on the trail or you're in the middle of nowhere. So stay on the trail, you're good. Go off the trail, you got nobody to blame but yourself. Of course, in the summer, it's not much better. But at least in the summer, you won't freeze to death if you get lost. Make sure the camera's still working. 29 minutes, so it's been half an hour since, uh, I don't know, wherever I started this video. Anyway. I don't know what these red ribbons are, pink ribbons. I saw them earlier, don't have a clue what they mean. Okay, notice how it's opening up a bit here. Less trees. That actually means we're getting close to the entrance, I think. Upper entrance, obviously. Oh, wow. Here's another little cave here. Look at that. So during the summer, I'm pretty sure I've been through there. It's a small cave. You can see the snow here is three feet deep. There's no way I'm gonna climb down there. It's completely pointless. I'll come back in the summer and check that out. Oh. Oops. So yeah, there's good reason to watch where you're going around here. And then here we are again, another hole, probably the same cave, different entrance. I'm sure it's officially part of a uh, ape cave, but I doubt it's connected in a way people would be able to get through. Air maybe, moisture definitely, but yeah, maybe rodents. There's another little hole caused by airflow. Wow, a few feet of snow here. Good thing the snow is so uh, hard on top. Oops, let's check out this one. Yep, looks like we got another. Notice how it's round there. Must be different uh, layers of snowfall. But yeah, are different. Yeah, so look how tiny that is. So this, the snow hole is a couple feet in diameter. Almost a perfect circle. The, the hole in the rock itself is maybe three inches wide, eight inches long. Tiny. But obviously it's enough to get some... Same thing here. Here's another one, decent size. Oh wow, there's like three or four of them here. Yeah, look at this. So this one, the hole is maybe three feet wide, four feet long, but the actual hole in the rock is maybe, uh, I don't know, one foot wide, two feet long, and it gets smaller. Too small for a person to try to climb through. Wow, I'm glad I came up here in the winter. I've never tried to do this before. I didn't think it'd be safe. I'd be afraid of calling it and get stuck. But anyway. Yeah, here we go, another hole. Again, the snow is maybe three feet in diameter, and then the hole in the rock is maybe six inches wide, 12 inches long. That's really cool. 
I had no idea that there were so many of these holes like this. Usually I ignore holes too small for me to fit inside. I mean, what am I gonna do with a hole that small? Anyway. Looks like I see another one over here. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's one right next to the trail. Look at this. I saw a hole here in the trail. I figured it was somebody's footprint, but no, that goes clear to the bottom. It's only like six inches long, four inches wide. Goes all the way down to the bare, um, what do you call the ground? I wouldn't say rock, because there's obviously moss and so on. Might even be dirt. Genuine, bona fide dirt. Oh wow, this one's decent. Oh, that one's obviously big enough to climb in. I don't know if I've been in that one or not. But yeah, the, the hole in the snow, almost a perfect circle, like four feet in diameter. And then the rock there, maybe eight inches wide, foot and a half long. Be tricky to climb in there, even in good weather. I don't know if I'd be able to find it in good weather. Here we are again, another hole, quite interesting. Yeah, the actual hole in the rock is like six inches tall, eight inches wide, really small. Person couldn't fit through there, not even a kid. Wouldn't mind sticking my flashlight through there. Hopefully I can remember where these are in the summer. I should be marking them on my GPS, but I'm kind of, well, anyway. Holy cow, I thought I saw fog, like steam. That means airflow, wow. Because I think I'm almost to the upper entrance to Ape Cave. I bet that steam is coming out of Ape Cave. Either that or I'm hallucinating. Anyway, it has been a while since I had breakfast. All right. So I'm going to have to be very careful here. So here's another hole in the snow, about a foot in diameter. I'm not even sure if I see a hole in the rock. I think it's just bare rock. Interesting. So here's another pair of holes. Each hole is tiny. Wow. Yeah, I don't even see a hole in the rock. It must be just a tiny little air vent type thing. But here's another one. Same sort of thing. You can see the moss and the rock. Don't even see where the air is flowing. Here's another one here. This snow hole is maybe a foot and a half in diameter. And the hole, I see a hole in the rock maybe two inches wide. Crazy. So let me stop here and look around. So there's more holes ahead, and there's the top of Mount St. Helens. Unfortunately, that's about the best view of Mount St. Helens I'm gonna have here. It's not, it's just too low to the horizon. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the part where I have to be extremely careful. I'm almost to the upper entrance of Ape Cave. Very steep there. Okay, so here we are. Lots of little holes. Well, there's one there, it's like a foot diameter. There's one there, like a foot and a half in diameter. Okay, yeah, this is the part where I have to be extremely careful. 